But why I think that it's important to give now uh, rather than later or when we have enough for ourselves already, right? It's really that I think sometimes what we don't see so much is that suffering can also compound, right? So if, uh, if a family was suffering today and they don't receive the help that they need, their future generations may suffer. Hi everyone, my name is Brian. I'm a client advisor and I've been with Providence since 2019. So I am the second of six children. Uh, I have an older sister, uh, three younger brothers and a younger sister at the end. Growing up, it was always, of course, very noisy at home. Uh, it was fun. Uh, at the same time, you always have someone to fight with. Um, it also lends to a lot of diversity in the home because I think even though we all grew up together and we have this, sort of the same upbringing, we have different personalities and we have different views and the things that we have pursued uh, in life, in our career, uh, and also the way that we approach life in general uh, is quite different. I am in the wealth advisory space. My older sister is a doctor. Uh, my, one of my younger brothers is in the Navy. Another one is a scientist. Uh, and then the youngest two are still studying, although my youngest sister uh, is a musical theatre actress. I mean, as an occupational hazard, I have also noticed that we sort of treat money differently. I'm a little bit more careful. I track um, exactly everything that I spend. Uh, things like that. I know that some of my siblings don't. Uh, and so I mean, I think our, the way that we approach the management of money uh, is also different. I use something called zero-based budgeting. Uh, what that means is that aside from tracking all my transactions, you know, being sure that I'm aware every time I sp spend money, um, I have a budget uh, which really allocates all my resources uh, down to the last dollar. But I really want to make sure that all my dollars are accounted for. Uh, so that if I ever make a spending decision that is outside of the budget, then I will need to look for somewhere else uh, where I need to take the money from. Uh, in that sense, it gives me sort of awareness that of the trade-offs that I'm making uh, whenever I make a decision to spend more than I originally allocated. It may sound like I'm tying up, tying my hands and uh, sort of allocating things in a way that I have no more free money to spend. Um, however, that's, that's not the truth uh, because even uh, in a zero-based budget, you can leave room for a certain amount of money which you want to be fund money, right? Or uh, device purchases, for example. What it does is it actually gives you permission to spend, meaning that once you have allocated something to a certain budget or you are aware of the trade-off that you're making um, before you spend, uh, it allows you to spend in a way that is guilt-free uh, because you know that you have considered um, exactly what uh, you are giving up in order to make that purchase. It is important for me uh, to add, to have charity in my budget uh, as well. Typically, I allocate about 10 to 15% uh, every month uh, to give to various causes. It could be the WWF or the World Food Programme, um, etc, etc. When uh, I hear about a cause or you know, some event has happened, you know, maybe a disaster somewhere that I want to give to, then I look for other places in my budget which I can reduce. There was this one time uh, that a friend approached me about uh, investing in a company that he is running. Uh, it is a company that provides uh, home delivery of fish and groceries uh, and he runs a farm like, essentially. But uh, they needed some cash and so he asked me if I was interested. At that time, most of my money was already allocated to different things. Uh, so then I had to sort of look for where I could find this uh, money. Uh, even if I removed most of the money from uh, some of my uh, normal spending budget, it wouldn't have been enough. It was a fairly substantial sum. Uh, so I actually looked into taking it from my current investments, uh, which are actually for uh, my retirement. I do know um, based on the, on the budget, but also on my wider uh, financial plan, that uh, even if I did that, I would not compromise uh, my future retirement. But the way that I was making the decision uh, about that investment was really also from a standpoint of uh, one, helping a friend, two, I think that the business uh, is doing good in terms of producing uh, food locally, uh, and three, because I know that uh, the company uh, does a lot of giving work, um, uh, in particular with migrant workers, uh, giving away food uh, to them uh, and also people in the community who can't afford uh, food. There, there would have been significant risk in that investment, um, but my idea was that even if uh, the company were to go under. If it was to run for another one year, two years, three years, um, the amount of giving that uh, would have been achieved from uh, the work that uh, they do on the side 
uh, would have more than uh, compensated me for, for the loss. Or at least I felt uh, that uh, it would be a good cause to give to. When I think about uh, giving, uh, for me it's about making a life decision before a financial decision. I mean that's been articulated uh, here at Provident, but it's something that I also believe, uh, which is why I joined in the first place. Um, and really I think that when you uh, decide uh, first that you want to give, then you can make room in your financial plan to do this giving. But why I think that it's important to give now uh, rather than later or when we have enough for ourselves already, right? It's really that I think sometimes what we don't see so much is that suffering can also compound, right? So if, uh, if a family was suffering today and they don't receive the help that they need, their future generations may suffer. It can also be the length of time that they suffer, right? If we uh, help them today versus helping them in 20 years, we can prevent 20 years of suffering. If we think about it from that point of view, then giving today, even though we may be able to give a little bit less, uh, we may be able to sort of stamp out uh, some of these uh, suffering before it multiplies. So having a budget, uh, having a wealth plan has really given me a level of financial clarity that has allowed me to do this uh, because it is important to me. Uh, and that's also what I want for my clients, which is that if I can give them um, the sort of financial clarity that will allow them to have the knowledge that they are not compromising their retirement uh, by pursuing any goal, right? It doesn't have to be giving uh, today. Uh, then I hope that they will have the daring uh, and be free to pursue that today rather than tomorrow.